Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Ava Gordy. And I'm Candice Carrizales. Yesterday morning, Blue Origin conducted a flight test of their launch escape system on the new Shepard rocket that is being developed as a commercial system for suborbital space tourism, while I waited for my shower to get hot. Suborbital space tourism basically means that the capsule rockets at a velocity that will return to the Earth's atmosphere minutes after leaving it for people who want to go to space but don't want to make the full commitment. This test was a little different from the last four tests of the new Shepard. They were specifically testing the escape capsule, which will ensure safety for human passengers if something were to go wrong with the launch. Jeff Bezos, 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 I think it's Bezos. My name is Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Blue Origin and also the CEO of Amazon.com said this test will probably destroy the booster. The booster was never designed to survive an in-flight escape. And then the booster exploded in the sky. Uh, no it didn't, Ava. The capsule exploded in the sky. No. The parachutes didn't deploy. The parachutes actually worked Right. The landing was a little bit rocky though. No, it it was it was good. So like so everything just like went perfectly fine. Yeah. When do you want to go to space, Ava? Blue Origin hopes to start flying into suborbital space as early as next year. Uh, nope. This was the first time the escape capsule was tested, so I kind of want to give it a few more runs. I mean, how many things have gone great the first time and then every time after that? So yeah, nah, I'm not heading to space anytime soon. I need to see so many successful tests, and even then, I want at least a million people sent out before me just to be extra safe. Airplanes are already terrifying enough. Like, I sit there knowing this could be the one that goes down, and I've been seconds away from pleading flight attendants to let me off the goddamn plane. Damn, chill out. Yeah, you're right. Basically, this is still really big news. The crew capsule, aka just the tip, was pushed off with 70,000 pounds of thrust at 400 miles per hour and made a soft landing. Really good stuff going on with potential space tourism. Yeah, this is cool, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I want to live longer. But we want to know in the comments, are you into going to space? Do you think all the recent clown sightings around the U.S. are just aliens? Because I do. And be sure to check out the SourceFed podcast. I've been on it. Candace has been on it. Other people are on it. Yeah, it's just a real good, it's a real good time over there. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Ava Gordy. And I'm Candace Carrizales. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Do you what, what's your crying schedule? Oh, uh, <laughs> do you write it in ten thirty to eleven? I cry at least a little bit every month. Leaked ninety five tons of oil into the North Sea, forty six miles west of Scotland's Shetland Islands. What do you mean Shetland ponies? I do not.